Hey, this is Janetta. This is August 26th. I'm so excited because Africa is rising. Oh, yes, it is. It is, it is, it is. And I have some things I want to share with you. So you'll get to, you'll be able to understand what I'm trying to let you know about Mother Africa. Now, some of the things that has happened in Africa has also happened in other places as well. But a lot of us don't know, especially my African friends here. They don't know. So I'm going to play a part of a video about the island of Hawaii and how that was colonized, taken over and consumed. And the real Hawaiians almost have no place in Hawaii. Yeah, that happened, started in about 1894. And look at it today. They got statehood in 1959. But actually the Hawaiian people themselves, the real Hawaiian, I'm not talking about the American that came over to Hawaii or the European that came over to Hawaii who was born there or the Japanese or anybody else. I'm talking about the real native Hawaiian. They were made to change everything and they were consumed. Now some of you may think it, it was probably better for them but why is your custom better than my custom? Why is your way of life better than my way of life? Uh, that's something to think about, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, in order for you to really understand, to really get the picture, I, I just have to bring you some examples of what we to do. And you remember that the Philippines were colonized by America for quite a few years. So a lot of things have been colonized besides the Europeans, colonization, mostly Africa, and also some of South and Central America, the Caribbean area. Okay, so let's get started. That begins with the genocide of a native people and ends with an attempt to silence one of their survivors and fiercest defenders, namely myself. It is a story of white cultural and economic imperialism in its broadest outlines and of white hegemony and white racism on this campus. Specifically, it is a story of the politics of academic freedom as the politics of white racism. Let me tell you now, first, how a white foreign world, that is the world of the Haole, came to occupy the world of the native, that is the world of Hawaiians. In 1778, a white foreigner came to our land with a pestilential shipload of other foreigners they wanted women, water, food, and general recreation, for which they gave Hawaiians syphilis, gonorrhea, tuberculosis, and ideas of predatory Christianity, capitalism, and individualism. Forty-two years later, in 1820, a different class of aggressive Haole, animated by the hatred of all things dark and sexual, brought measles, chicken pox, and a virulent determination to replace the Hawaiian world with the Haole world. They were called missionaries and they were bent on conversion of my people and the dispossession of our lands and waters. By this time, that is 1820, three quarters of a million Hawaiians were dead, directly the result of the coming of the Haole. Conveniently for the missionaries, the Hawaiian universe had collapsed under the impact of mass death. The fertile field of conversion was littered with the remnants of Holocaust, a Holocaust created by Haole and celebrated by Haole as the will of a Christian God. By the 1880s, most of our lands were owned by the same white American foreigners who had convinced our chiefs that private property would give our people everlasting physical life. In 1893, when Hawaiians were but 5% of what they had been at contact, and when most of our arable lands were in the hands of foreigners, the American Marines invaded and occupied our country, overthrew and imprisoned our chiefly leaders, and forcibly took Hawaii. In 1898, we were annexed to the United States against the wishes of the Hawaiian people. By 1900, all Hawaiian language schools were closed, political and economic life was dictated by the Haole, and American institutions overtook the last vestiges of Hawaiian culture. From this point forward into the 20th century, Hawaiians became increasingly like other native peoples, conquered and subordinated in their own homeland. Now we suffer a declining population, continued land dispossession and ongoing destruction of our cultural ways. As a nation and a people, Hawaiians are no longer self-determining. For Hawaiians, American colonialism has been a violent process. The violence of mass death, the violence of American missionizing, the violence of cultural destruction, the violence of the American military. Once the United States annexed my homeland, a new kind of violence took place. The violence of educational colonialism. 
where foreign Haole values replace Native Hawaiian values, where schools like the University of Hawaii ridicule Hawaiian culture and praise American culture, and where white men assume the mantle of authority, deciding what is taught, who can teach, even what can be said, written, and published. In Colony Hawaii, the university stands atop the educational pyramid of the state. People of color comprise over 70% of the student body, while the faculty are over 70% Haole. For Hawaiians, the situation is worse. 13 tenured Hawaiian faculty compare with nearly 660 tenured Haole faculty. The situation is called institutional racism. Yeah, now let me tell you a little story. They are now having a coup, uh, several coups, in the uh, western part of Africa. I know you might have heard about Niger, uh, Kina, Basal, uh, and uh, I think either Malawi or Maui. I, I always get that mixed up. But you'll find out. You'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. You've been listening to this. And the way they make it look like these people are radical, they want to try to destroy a democracy. And that democracy was for the people, by the people, and with the people. Well, let me see. I can't answer all that about the democracy, but 40% of the people there in Niger are starving. 85% of people don't have any electricity. Only 15% of them have electricity. The country is rich. Niger is rich. It has, uh, I think they call it uranium, whatever they use to produce electricity. And they also have gold and they have oil. But they're poor. Can you imagine? Let's dig into why they're poor. Maybe you might not know it, but France did not give up their colonies. They kept holding them. They were under, they have been under a sort of colonization that looked like they have a democracy, they have some choice, but they don't. But those people are tired of starving and they want them to get the, you know, out of front of Niger. France, go back home. United States, go back home. We don't want you. The United States has a drone base there. A drone base where people are starving. And France has a military base there. Why? They said for the protection of the people. No, it's for protection of what resources they are taking out of that country. And this has happened in history. But time is a coming, honey. Africa is rising. They're getting up. These young people are saying, we're tired of jumping in the ocean and trying to get to the shore of what we call and thought was freedom, only to be enslaved and made to feel not like we are people, but we're just a source of complaint. Yeah, it's quite a sacrifice. There was a time when the ship came up and they gathered us and we got on the ship, but not voluntarily. But now the ship is not coming and we're jumping in the water and taking little boats and trying to cross the water to get to what we consider as a world of hope, prosperity, and richness. Not to know that the richness they have, we are the source of that richness here on this continent. Yeah. 60% of the world's minerals and natural resources come from here, from Africa, from the continent. And even here, they've tried to divide us up. We, you know, those that are lighter in the other part of Africa, and we're in sub-Saharan Africa. <laughs> it's the continent Africa. Black people. The island, the town, the countries, the this, the states, the, the whole continent. Black people. People that look like you and people that look like me. And I'm not going to cry because times are changing. And you know what? I am so happy that I'm here in the change. And I want to encourage you. Don't pay any attention to those things where they're saying they're having, uh, 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 what 
other thing called terrorists. Those terrorists are groomed by people that want to keep hold to the continent and they don't want to be the of those. They don't want to, they have set up the terrorists. That's the first of all, they need guns, they need weapons. And most of these countries don't have guns, they don't have weapons. They don't have the money to buy a lot of guns. Most of those children they call terrorists don't know anything. They're hungry. They're hungry. What we would rather do is we would rather make them terrorists than to find out what the problem is and feed them. Aha! Yeah. But the time is coming. Thank, I'm so thankful to the Most High for the internet. I'm so thankful for those that are, are wanting to tell their story so we can find out that there's not a lot of difference between us and some other people that are not African. No, they might have some African descent in them because all of us came from here. Yeah. But it's not just happening, it has not happened just only to Africa. But Africa has been the one publicized and made popular. So I tell you this, take our time to learn about Mother Africa. So you let me know what you think. You subscribe, you like, you share it. Share it with your children. Share it with people to let them know because what you don't know, they didn't pay. I just found out about Hawaii really by looking at this YouTube video that you see. Isn't it amazing? I'm 80, well, almost 81. And I'm just finding out the truth about Hawaii. That is a country in the, a, a state within the United States. It's time for us to act. And together, this is what we So join us. I'll see you later. Oh, I forgot. Blacksandradio.com on Saturdays, I think about 8 o'clock Central Time. So, hey, look us up, look me up, look me up, tell me, talk to me, talk to me. <laughs> talk to me. I'm trying to do the best I can to try to let you know what is going on to the best of my knowledge. Okay. Talk to you later.